Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve another one of the important programming challenge of HackerRank. And name of this programming challenge is two strings. In this programming challenge, first of all, we will get a test case. And after that test case, of each test case, we will get two strings. For example, let's say I will write here, I just want only one test case to execute. So I'm going to write here one. And after I said one each test case, two strings we can give provide as an input. So first string I will give as and, and the second string art. Okay. input now what we will do next first of all we will provide this save this string into a variable so let's say s1 equal to and and is stored in s1 variable and s2 is stored in alt variable now when we will compare this two string s1 and s2 then you will find it out there is one sub string is common a okay please keep that note in mind now we will try one more test case and in this test case also i'm uh, i'm also going to execute only one only so again i'm going to write one here and let's say this time i'm going to write uh, first string as b and the second string will be cat this will be our input okay now in this again this b and cat i'm going to save it in a variable s1 equal to b and s2 equal to cat now if we'll compare the second string b and cat there is no common substring exist between them okay so if any string which produces common substring in that we have to return output as yes common substring exists in them okay and if any string which there is no common substring exists between them means any other test case if, like example b and cat there is no common substring exist in that scenario we will write our we will return our output as no so this is our problem so before we start solving the problem, let's see the constraint first. That S1 and S2, both the strings will be in alphabet between A to Z. Okay. The next thing, the test case, you can provide between 1 to 10. Okay, another thing, the length of S1 and S2 is between 1 to 10 to the power 5. This is our constraints. So we saw our we saw so we what we understood we understood our problem we also saw the constraints now what we will do next we will try to solve our problem with the help of Java. So to solve this problem what we will do we will take two test cases this time two the first substring is the first string is and the second string of the first test case is alt. So, okay, now the second test case, first string, I will keep it as B, B, and the second string of the second test case will be cat. So, this is our input. 
so before moving into the second test case first of all we will see the first test case so what we are going to do first first of all we are going to save this and and art in a variable s1 and s2 done after that what we are going to do this and i am going to store in a in a set uh, character by character let's say the character name i will keep initial let's say the set value i am going to initialize as data 1 data 1 and s2 i am going to store it in a again in a set only and the value that i am going to initialize in the value that i am going to store it here it will be data 2 so how the data is going to store i told character by character data a after that n and after that d same thing i am going to do with the data 2 first of all i am going to store r a after that r after that t now so the first question arises here why i am going to store store and and art character by character in a set the reason because so that all the duplicate data is the duplicate data will be moved so that it will be easier for me to compare them compare them and found the similar similar substrings through that i can provide the output and after that we are going to use one method we are going to see that first of all what we will do next first of all i am going to store this s1 and s2 string in a data1 data2 set character by character let's see how we are going to do that here you can see that in this method already i am getting two input a string s1 and a string s2 so i am going to store this data in a store this data data1 data2 set set character by character so that duplicate data will get removed so let's initialize data1 and data2 initialization done now we are going to use int string dot range start from 0 to length After that, I'm going to iterate the complete string one by one. So for that, I'm going to use for each. And here I'm going to store data one dot add string one character by character dot care at i. So S1 data is stored character by character in data one. Now the same thing I am going to do with the S2 data. Done and done. So the first part is done. The next. So we have initialized data 1 and data 2. We have stored string 1 and string 2 data. Now the next thing that what is that? I am going to use one method of set and that method name is retain all what retain all method it will do it will compare with data 2 to data 1 so what does that mean it will compare that if data 2 how many math characters are exist and in data 1 how many characters are exist and if there is a similarities between data 2 and data 1 that means if any data character between data 2 and data 1 is similar that it, it will delete all the data of data 1 and it is going to store only those data which which in which data 1 and data 2 having both how i'm going to write this i'm going to write like this data 1 dot retain all data okay so what it will happen all the data it will check with all the data it will check with data 1 and if 
any similarities found between data 2 and data 1 then all the previous data of data 1 will be get deleted that is a and d and only those data will be inserted here which found in both data 1 and data 2 that will be only a let's implement this one and check if this is work if this is the correct data it is going to store or not okay i'm going to write here data 1 dot retain all data 2 done now to check that correct data is storing or not for that what i am going to do i am going to write one sop here and sop name i will keep it as uh, data 1 only because it is going to insert the new data in data 1 only done now here error is coming so i have to provide one return let's provide empty string only yeah that's it run the code and for now i'm going to provide only one test case one first string will be and second string will be art so here i can see that one a is stored in data one okay now let's try one more test case and in this test case again i am going to provide one and in this test case i am going to give b as a first string cat as a second string now you can see that data one is completely blank because there is no matching substring exists in that okay so if the data one and data two so that i can access the ma matching words so what i am going to do i am going to write here conditional operator if data one is empty if data one is empty in that scenario what i will do write no why because there is no there is no com there is no similar data found but if it is not empty that means data exists then write yes done let's execute this code again and this time i'm going to take two test cases the first string will be and second string will be alt answer is yes now let's write the another test case the first string will be b and the second string will be cat no why because there is no comparison found in that so i think the logic that i have written is completely correct so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this code line of lines of code and I will go into the hacker rank console and I will paste my code in the two strings two strings console. Now let's run the code here. So I can see that all the test three test cases, temple sample test case 0, 1, 2 got successful. Now what I will do next, I am going to submit my code here. So here I can see that all the test cases got successful and this program programming challenge also got solved. So whatever the logic that I have written here is completely correct. And also this is the end of this video. Again in the next video we are going to talk about another one of the important programming challenges of hacker rank. Okay, so stay tuned and keep watching Adhyan channel. Thank you.